Hi everybody and welcome to our channel. Today I wanted to make a video on entry packages. Uh, what's an entry package? An entry package is a package of documentation that our office prepares for our clients who are entering Canada either by plane, uh, more often by, uh, by land, uh, and they fear they might have some problems at the border because of certain past issues. So it could be anything from uh, someone who's been here before on a visitor, as a visitor, and was questioned a lot by a CBSA officer, was allowed in, for example, but doesn't want to necessarily go through that again because it was a little bit stressful and traumatic uh, and they feel that they need some assistance. Uh, or for example, a permanent resident of Canada who uh, has an expired PR card, is waiting uh, for the renewal of the PR card and wants to enter uh, by land from the US uh, with the confirmation of permanent resident but is a little bit nervous about being questioned. Uh, am I going to be allowed in? Am I going to get a removal order? Um, those types of issues. Or, for example, uh, we have clients who are entering as a visitor, for example, to visit uh, a Canadian spouse, uh, and they're afraid that the officer might deny entry or flag them or question them or allow them in for a uh, temporary, uh, for a limited time, less than the six months, for example, um, because, for example, they, um, they, they say they're coming to visit a Canadian husband or wife. So it could be a, a, a lot of different situations where people are, are nervous. Um, an entry package is not an immigration application per se. It's not an application that we're filing to immigration. It's a package of documents that our office prepares. So we prepare a legal submission letter. It's a cover letter. It could be two, three, four, five pages, depending on the situation. And it ha it'll have supporting documentation. So we prepare a list of documents specific to your case. It could be financial information, bank statements, um, copies of passport, passport tra stamps, travel history. It could be information about the person that you're visiting. Uh, if you're a permanent resident and you're returning, it could be uh, humanitarian and compassionate grounds as to why you were forced to remain outside. For example, if you have a sick parent and you had to travel, uh, it could be the medical uh, reports. Uh, if you have a pending uh, PR card or your PR card is issued and you're coming to pick it up, it could be documentation about that. So we give you a list of documents. You provide us a list of documentation. Based on that, based on the legal framework, we prepare a legal submission letter uh, and we prepare, this is the entry package. And we give that package to you. Um, and you do your trip, you come to Canada, and if you have a problem at the uh, at the border, if CBSA is asking you questions or they take you into secondary questioning, the entry package is kind of your plan B. So it's not like you're coming to the border and presenting it. It's not like you're making a TRP application or a special request at the border. It's you're entering, you answer uh, the questions that are asked, and if you are taken to secondary questioning or the officer has more questions for you, uh, then this is a good opportunity to present the entry package, uh, which will have all of the information in a very complete and concise uh, way, which could facilitate your entry into Canada. Because in some situations, you have you, maybe you have a very complicated story, and it, the entry package could help the un officer understand your situation. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, travelers come in at all hours of the night. It could be tired. You could be tired. Maybe you can express yourself well, but at that moment, you're stressed, you're tired, you've never really been in secondary questioning with a CBSA officer and to present a package that like this that has all the right information, the complete information, could make a difference um, in your case. Um, the entry package uh, in itself um, will be sent to you. Uh, you'll be able to review it. Um, also, what we'll do is, uh, if you need, uh, we can have a preparation with you. So prior for you to, to you coming to Canada, we can speak over the phone, uh, and I, and I can ask you all the questions that maybe the officer might ask you, and I could see how you're responding to those questions uh, to prepare you. Uh, some of our clients really like this because, uh, as I said earlier, a lot of people have never dealt with a situation like this before with a CBS officer, and they get very nervous. So it's important to, to be well prepared. Uh, we tell you to listen to the question, to answer to the question uh, that's asked, and not kind of deviate to, to add other answers, and because that could make the officer think that maybe you're trying to hide something. There's a lot of our clients who who have a right to enter Canada as visitors or permanent residents. Um, they have nothing to hide. Everything is legal and correct, but because they're so nervous, uh, they don't present themselves properly, and that could cause you to, to go into questioning. Ultimately, if you've done everything right and you have the right information, the right legal advice, you're well prepared, you know the law, you should be allowed in with no problem. 
Um, but if we can avoid you being questioned for hours at the border, especially if you're traveling with children, um, that, that's a good thing. Um, finally, if, for example, you're a permanent resident and you don't meet the residency requirement, this is a, a request that we get a lot, uh, clients who are coming back as a permanent resident. Uh, you can always be questioned at the border. I've, I've done a couple of other videos on this. Uh, something to know is that even if you have an entry package, you could be allowed in, but you could always receive a removal order. Mm -hmm. And if you do, then you could appeal that. You will need to contact us and we have to look at the next step. So an entry package doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be allowed in guaranteed and you won't have any issues. It's, it's, it's a way to facilitate your entry um, into Canada to make it a little bit uh, smoother. Uh, if you have a question about this, if you, you're looking to enter Canada and, and you need an entry package, uh, you can contact us and uh, we can schedule a consultation to speak with you. Take care.